heard that you're not supposed to keep a sphere of beard. Is this a real thing? I've never what heard that. that mean? Any, anybody hear that? What does that even mean? I mean, Rabbi, no, Rabbi, that if you like the way your beard looks, <laughs> once sphere is done, you're not supposed to keep it because it's. Uh, yes, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Right. I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, we could defer to Rabban Horowitz because he grew a sphere of beard and he hasn't looked back. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's what Aaron Kaplan is saying. <laughs> Zach, are we allowed to shave tomorrow night already? Look up at Chavez? Oh. No, if anything, people are asking look up at Chavez. If anything, this year you shouldn't shave till Friday, look up at Chavez. There we go, guys. Oh. Right? Because you should yeah. shave closer to Chavez. That's what you've always said. What if I'm going to be busy on Friday? Okay. Aaron, have you ever done anything Thursday night? Look up the shop. Is that nothing? So, You're amongst friends here, you know. Yeah, it's a safe place. <laughs> it's a shave during sheer Arab Shabbos. Yeah. Um, uh, no, you could if you need to. If it's going to be, I'm going to tweet it out right after the shear. I'm going to. Okay, but one um, second. But, but Jacob, you don't have to wait the hot sauce on Friday, do you? No, before. no, no. Right in the morning. Uh -huh. Okay. Right in the morning. Um, but there are many makilim tomorrow night. There are even makilim after chatzais tomorrow. If David Feinstein holds, you can take a haircut tomorrow right after Mincha Gedoyla. Once we stop saying tachan, it's already yomtif, which is machma like that, a shtickle in the Mishnah Brura if you go with those shitas. So there is what, uh, all the people that have weddings tomorrow night, I tell them, I told them it's better if they bring their shaver and shave in the car before before they go into the hole. But if they can't, then uh, then they could, uh, they yeah, could shave. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. I want to see someone do that. I want to see people shaving outside the wedding halls. I don't want not. Why not? Anybody that's making a wedding tomorrow really is not supposed to have live music till at least well after Shkia. So they're calling chuppas tomorrow night. The chuppas are what time? Eight thirty. Anybody making a chaz tomorrow? Eight thirty is the chuppas. Right, it's late. Late. It's the opposite of you, David. The other, the opposite. Exactly. Exactly. I'm not making. One. I'm not making one tomorrow night. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> did Rab David, did Rab David hold you to make it earlier? Chasanas? No, I, I don't think he. No, I don't think he held you to make chasanas earlier. But he you held you could. Shave uh, earlier? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, yes, yeah, somebody already made a macha against the Hatzola shebang tomorrow night. How are they? What's their heter to have music tomorrow night? Why? What's right. the matter with so, that? Is, there's really no heter to have music tomorrow night. I mean, there's a sheet that holds that it's allowed, but most places can say no music till till Friday morning. What does that mean? They have all the had luckers tomorrow night, no? So they say had luckers. They 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 also look for really like for reason behind that. But they say okay, it's a mitzvah, whatever whatever it means, whatever the had luckers. That's all. Sounds like had luckers. Yeah, it could maybe, <laughs> maybe, right? I hear whatever. That was somebody's macho. Whether okay, whatever. Maybe that's a sort of mitzvah. So that's why. Okay. Yeah. Okay, ready to roll. We got a classic, uh, a classic Dafyami Ahmed right here. Yeah, but I think tonight we'll do Toysis. Huh? A classic Dafyami <laughs> because okay. it's small, it's easy, or yeah, is it yeah. easy or it's not hard? so? It's not so hard. It's not okay. so hard. Just the Toysis goes through a lot of so Let's finish by nine thirty. Were you rushing off to Nartali? <laughs> 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 I've told you what to be the first guy by the bob. He's getting online by the barber. <laughs> yeah. No, he already had his appointment from before Pesach. Yeah, we know that. that I didn't want to say we know. We know. <laughs> Eight o'clock Friday morning. Yeah, but, he, but he's a Bukhari and he likes to give him fun. No, so, I've told you, everybody knows the whole story, man. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You learn yeah. them in the morning. You get in the haircut. <laughs> All right. So let's go. Second line down. So again, just to just to just to um, reacclimate ourselves with this sugi here. So there's a mission on Tamid. And we started learning, and he stand, he go walks away from the table, Naftali. Just in case anybody doesn't see that on the Zoom. Okay. But uh, <laughs> um, so there's a mission in Tamid, and the mish, there's a Mishnah in uh, what's the other mission in uh, Midas. Midas, thank you. Mishnah of Tamid and Midas. That. And we're in Yuma discussing it. Yep. Yeah, correct. And we're in Yuma discussing Tamid and Midas. Correct. And uh, so one Mishnah says that the the Lishka for the Tloim was in the southeast corner. And the other one says it was in the northwest. So basically, we're trying to give different Tirutzim. So we said it to Rebbe Lozab and Yaakov. One, one Mishnah is Rebbe Lozab and Yaakov. 
And then the other Mishnah is, we didn't, didn't say who, but a different Tana. Then we wanted to say maybe it's Rabbi Yehuda, and we slugged that up. So now we're going to say a third shot. The yeah, second line down, Rav Adab, Breder, Rav Yitzchak, Amar, Hai Lishka, the way the Lishka was, Iktsuye Makti, it was, literally, Iktsuye means the literal touch is the, it goes to the corner. Right? So, I mean, there's, there's all sorts of diagrams. You have to really pick one of the diagrams. But, uh, so you look at the, the best one, in the, at least in the ones that have Gemaras, the art scroll has their own, which is good. But then the Taisu is the bottom left one, right? So Tzofen, and then you have the Tlaim Aktsuye Vekarav Lutzofen. Yeah? So it was in the corner. And Vemele, it took, up, it took up most of that wall. So depending on which direction you come into that room, it looks like, it looks like that room that they kept the, the lambs in was part of the south corner or or if, come, if you come from the south it looks like it's in the north corner because it took up most of that wall so it's just basically what the Gemara is saying is that it's a different way of describing it based on uh, uh, what's it when your eyes play tricks play play trick on you what is it called is a uh, optical, optical illusion, illusion. Right, it's like an optical illusion I don't know if that's exactly the good way of describing it but sort of like an optical illusion so one Mishnah perspective is, it's right, right, right. It's good for the perspective, right? Depends which way you come into the room. So if you come in from the south, it's going to look like it's in the north. If you come from the north, it looks like in the south. That's basically what the Gemara is saying. So, right, so the Asim Yitzafan, if you're coming in from the north, yeah, Mishazi Lake Kedarim, Bedarim, it looks like it's in the south. The Asim Yitzafan, Mishazi Lake Bitzafan. And if you're coming in from the south, then it looks like it's in the north part. So, therefore, there's no steer between the Mishnah and Tavid and the Mishnah and Midas. Right, the Mishnah and Tamid is coming from the south, and the Mishnah and Midas is it for somebody coming from the from the north, right? Then the Gemara says, But and where, so Lamaisa, where was it? Where was the which way, which corner was it taka in? Right, so Mustavra, it's in the southwest corner. Why, Mimai, why? Because you're really going to have a stira from which room they did the lechem upon him in. Because the, right, the, one of the rooms they did was the lechem upon him where they, where they baked the lechem upon him before they put it onto the tables, right? The lechem upon him was not baked on the shulchan. It was baked before the shulchan and then was put onto the shulchan. And that was the nace that it stayed fresh for, for the whole week, right? So it's really a steer there, which, which one is, is the lechem upon him? Which, which corner is the lechem upon him? Yeah, but even though in the Mishnah it doesn't say it beferish, but it's mashma, in, in one Mishnah it's mashma that it's, that it's right next to, and then the Mishnah it's on, and then one Mishnah is mashma the other side. Umashninon, and the answer is, Amar Avhuna Breder of Yeshua, Mar Kachosh of Derech Yemin, right? The, the Manda Amar in Midas is is describing the room, the lishka, going from derech yimin to the right side. Like we said, you always supposed to go derech yimin. So he's going from left to right. Umar kachosh of derech small. And the other Mishnah, the Mishnah Tamid, is going to the left, which is, I guess, left going left to right is clockwise, right? Going right to le- going left to right is counterclockwise. Going right to left is clockwise, right? Going from your right to your left, you're going clockwise, the way a clock moves, right? If you're going from left to right, then you're going counterclockwise. You're going opposite the way uh, uh, the way it moves, right? So, so therefore, it's saying first that it says the tle is in the bottom left. Then it goes over to, to the right, the bottom right, right? Meaning the southeast is a lechem upon him. North... East is the where they hid the stones, where the hash, where they base Hashemino hid the stone, and then the northwest is is where they uh, they had the fires and there was a, a mikveh there. So now on Tommy base, this is the proof that it, that that's what it is. So if you say right that the the lishka for the tle for the lambs was in the southwest. I know the metarets lechem upon him, a lechem upon him. That's how we're going to be metarets a lechem upon him from the lechem upon him, right? 
Meaning that's how that's how you're going to figure out the order because it says the tle, like we just said, the tle, then the chesamos, then the fire, and then the lechem upon him. Right. That's meaning because you're starting from the the maravis drivis, and you're moving around. You're going around from from um, left to right. which right? That's which is turning towards you right. Eliyamrit's finest maravis avoy. But if you say that the lishka was in the northwest. Saif Saif, my to the lechem upon him. Said, how are you answering the lechem upon him? Right, meaning so if it's in the northwest, yeah. So then and then you keep and you're gonna go from there, um, and then you're going from right to left. It's gonna be a steer of exactly where the lechem upon him is because the lechem upon him is gonna end up in a different spot than the other than the other um, lechem the other mission is lechem upon him. El lavshma mino be maravis droimis havoi. So that teaches us that it was in the southwest, Shmami no, that's what we're saying. Okay, whether we understand the, the terrets or not, but the bottom line is, is that the Lishka, on the test, on the Dafyami test, if you want to pass the test, the, answer, the bottom line answer is, is that the room with the Tlaim, the Tlaim was in the southwest corner of the, of the Lishka space Hamaikid, right, of the Lishka that they kept the fire. The only question is, not a Gemara says, didn't we say that you're supposed to go counterclockwise? You're supposed to go from left to right, not from right to left, right? Meaning anytime you turn to do something, you're supposed to go from your left to your right. So here we're saying that you, it works out that you're supposed to go from your right to your left. And we say you're supposed to go always to your right, so the right answer is honey, mili ba'avoda. That's when you're actually doing the avoda. The kohen should always turn to his right. Aval hacha chash chushman abamo. Here, all we're doing is describing where the rooms were. So if you're just describing where the rooms are, you don't have to. You were. You don't have to describe it as a right to left. As I'm sorry, you don't have to describe it as going from left to right. You just describe the rooms. It doesn't make a difference. Meaning, when you're actually physically going someplace then you're supposed to turn from your left and go towards your right. When you're just describing a room, you don't have to describe it as a description. You don't have to first say bottom left room, then the bottom right and the top right and the top left. You don't have to go towards your right. You can describe oh, it whichever way you want. Why, why not? I mean, if we're saying that it's going to the right is a COVID, so when we talk about, we talk about the, the uh, uh, behemoth shalom shalo nit move, uh, the, you know, the extra words because he didn't want to say tame, tame dick animals by noyach and so on. All the time, we always try and lush in uh, uh, naki. If we're saying right. that it's so kashif to go to the right, we should say that even in the speech. You, you're saying your speech should be the same way. If you're saying it's a big mile to go that way. <clears throat> Right. I hear. Um, you're saying that your speech should be the same way as your actual physical moving. Um, okay, it's interesting. It's interesting. I, I hear. I hear what you're saying because that's it's everything. I mean, it's saying that. Well, first of all, what, where do we know it from? We know it from. Uh, how do we say that you're supposed to go to your right? What did we learn it from again? Two blood ago, three blood ago. Yamsha Shloima? Yeah. Yeah, Yamsha also Shloima. So that it goes from right to left. So maybe there it's only a physical thing, not a descriptive thing. Okay, I hear. I hear. Now, a few things that it's Negea to with this going from, le from left to right. For the one, the major one that's Negea, well, there's two things that are Mamash Negea the Menorah. Right? How do we light our Menorah? Oh. We, we light our Menorah from left to right. Because you want to always go towards your right, even though there are those that are halkim on that. But Lamais, the way most of Klai is, but you're, does. you're facing it. You're facing the menorah, so it's going the other way, no? Oh, so that's so that's the shaila. To whose right, right? To whose oh. right are you going? Right? Mm -hmm. Is it to your right or is it to the oilam who's looking at your yeah. menorah's right? So if somebody's looking at, at you in the window, mm -hmm. so you're going from his right to his left. But for you, the mice, it says, whichever way you're turning, that's the Lushan, called Pina Shata Paina, you're supposed to go to your right. So Mamela, for you, you're going to your right. So that's why, that's why you do, uh, 
That's the that's why with the menorah. There's a fascinating sock. Opening the menorah. paraiches. What? Open oh, us so the opening the paraiches. I know it is yesh v'yesh when you open the parayich. Should it go from left to right? And then some say it goes from right o, to o, left. Also by hag, by hagba. Hagba, right, to exactly. To the that's right. the other one that's very negative. Hagba. So which way do you yeah. do hagba? Because for the person, right? You're supposed to turn to the right. So you turn what? it to your right. No, because for the half the oilam, you're going, you're going the other you way. You're supposed to turn to the right. Do you turn to the right? Right, but the but, right. one that's second. Right. But do you do hagba? In a in a circle, or do you do? Most people don't do hagba in a circle. It's supposed do. to be in a circle to the right. At least that's what my Rosh Hashanah no, no. always said. Well, a lot of people do left to right, and then they spin around the other way. I mean, they don't make a full circle, right? They do two half circles, right? Meaning, the main thing is that the whole. But doesn't Mishnah Berurah right. say you're supposed, you're not to, supposed go to make a full to circle. your right all the way around? Yeah, so the Chazanish held you got you're supposed to go all the way, make one field, full circle. I think the Mishnah Ruler brings it also. He doesn't or the Achroin of No, Mishnah that's what that's where my Rosh Hashiva brought it. We had a Mishnah Burish here right after Shachas. I don't that's know if the Mishnah Ruler himself called. says to make a circle. Right, but either way, it's an interesting way to do it. Do you go around to the right or to the right of you to your own right or to the Tzibur's right? Right? Yeah, then there's also uh Rav Shama Zalman has a psaq that if you're lighting in the window to Menorah, I know it's not, it's not, uh, it's not the time now for uh, for uh, Menorah, but he said if you're lighting in the window your Menorah, you should light it on the right side of the window, right? Which is interesting because there you're not turning anywhere. So it's one thing if you're by the Menorah, you're so lighting. everyone, everyone's just your Menorah, or everyone. Well, oh, that's the problem when you have a lot of people. So, okay, so then you know somebody's not going to get well, it. But to put it to let's right say side. you're lighting by yourself, so you put in the right side of the window, right? Which is, I always I never understood that. Pshat. It's an interesting psak that that means everything I should do, I should do on the right side. I'm Garaka, I'm sitting on my mother's dining room table, I sit mamish on the if you're facing the table, I'm on the far right always, but that's just how it works out. I never thought of. But uh, should you always look to sit at the right side of the table? Just go into the, the far, right door of the Bismedish? So I'm on the far left. I should go over there. All right. Don't make left turns. Don't ever make a left turn. Instead, go around the block, make right turns. It's not a It's about walking with the Rabbi. Two tell me them walking with the Rabbi. The bigger one goes to yeah. the right. Yes, yes, yes. Um, so you have to explain that. But Shlomo put me in the left side of the first base manager. That's why I always sat. He says, I need power. He says, I have plenty of guys to watch my right. I need somebody to watch my left. You sit in the left side. Oh, yeah? He put me in the left. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you went to the left. Line, yeah. line side yeah. is important. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> if you think about it, the terminology, you're right. Where did it come from? Yeah. I hear. I hear the parrots you taking over the Zakarowitz with Dr. Zakarowitz. I was about to say, you end up, end up on the right side of things, but he's not here, so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's see back. Okay, so that's that. Now now it gets, uh, now it gets a little easier. So, Shekoyim Godel. So, then we said that the Koyim Godel's Makriv Chelek Beroish, meaning he gets priority. Whatever Karbonus he brings, he gets in, he gets ahead of all the Mishmaros and the Whatever it is, and he also gets to eat whichever part of the animal he wants. So Rabbanon, Keter Makar Chelak Barosh. How is he Makar his Chelak Barosh? Right, Aimer Oila Zuani Makar. He says this Oila I'm being Makar. Mincha Zuani Makar. I'm being Makar. This Mincha. I'm not exactly sure what the Gemara's Chiddush, what the Gemara's question was. I mean, the Kohen Gadol says, "I want to be Makar this Oila. I want to be Makar this Mincha." Okay, very good. So you get it, right? Same thing with the next. Ketzad noitel chelik beroish. How does he take his chelik of the animals beroish first? Oimer chata zuani oichel. Asham zeh ani oichel. This chata I'm taking, and this and this asham I'm taking. But noitel chala mishte chalas, and then he gets to take one of the two chalas of shvuas. At least that in Yonadiyam we have, right? Because there's two the shte alechem from shvuas, so the kohen gets two chalas, right? And arba yichomesh me ma'aseh lechem upon him. Not a lechem upon him, which is the weekly bread, the show bread, as they call it, right? That's the twelve loaves that went on from every twelve loaves from Shabbos to Shabbos. So there, so by the by the chalas for the atzeres, he gets one, so he gets fifty percent. 
by lechem upon him, he doesn't get 50%. He gets either four, which would be 33%, or five, which is somewhere in between that and, and half, right? That's, so that's what he gets. That's according to the first sheet. The Rebbe Yomer, Lailam Chamish, he doesn't get four or five. He gets five. Shanemar, because it says, Vahaisa la'aron levanav, mechza la'aron mechza levanav. It says it goes to Aaron and to his kids. So half goes to Aaron, who's the Kayin Gadol, and half to the sons. So therefore he gets half. Okay, so why only five? It should be six. Right? If there's 12 Lechem upon him and the Kayin Gadol gets half, so he should be getting six, not five. Okay, we'll see that. We'll see the Gemara Vaita on that. So then Gemara says, Hagufa Kasha. This whole Brisa is, is a Kasha. Amrit, Naito Chala Achas, Mishte Chalas. It says, he tests from the Shtei Alechem from Shvuas, he gets one Chala from, he gets one of the two Chalas. Money, that's Rebbe Hidam or Pal Shokel. That goes according to Rebbe, who says that he gets half the breads. Ema Mitziyasa, what about the middle case? Arba Chamesh. He gets either four of the Maisa Lechem upon him. That's obviously going according to Rabbanon. The Amri to Lai Shokopala. That the Kohen Gadol doesn't get half. Right? So then Amos Sefer. So now let's say the Sefer. Rebbe Oimer. Loilam Chamesh. The Sefer says, Rebbe says, you get five. So basically what comes out is that the ratio that it says that he gets half of the bread by Shvuas is Rebbe. The middle case where it says he gets four or five, is the Rabbanon. And then Rebbe is, I'm sorry, the middle case where he says he gets, right, I'm sorry, he gets four or five is the Rabbanon. And then the last case is Rebbe, where he says he gets five. So basically it comes out, Reisha, the Sefer, Rebbe. So it comes out, the Reisha and the Sefer is Rebbe, and it's the Yosa, Rabbanon, and the middle case is the Rabbanon. I'm Rabbaya, Reisha, Mitziyosa, Rabbanon, um, um, so... I'm saying that's the kasha, so it makes sense that the ratio and sefer is is according to Rebbe. In the middle case is the rabbanon. So Amar Abaya Abaya gives a teretz. He says ratio umitziyasa rabbanon. The ratio and the middle case is the rabbanon, right? Umay the rabbanon, but prusa the lav oyrech aru lemeis for the kohen gadol. Because what are you going to do? The rabbanon say you get less than half. What are you going to give him for shuas? There's two loaves of bread. What are you going to give him? Three quarters of a loaf? It's a bizayin that you can't give a kohen gadol half a loaf of bread. Right? That's not allowed. You have to give him a full loaf of bread. So, so even though the ratio seemingly it says he's giving him half, that's not because we hold the Kohen Gadol gets half. He really should be getting less than half. We just can't give him a half a loaf of bread or three quarters of a loaf of bread. So therefore, we have to even the Rabban and Almighty that you give him a full bread. Right? But other than that, we it's you get less than half. And Rebbe holds you get exactly half. Again, Omar Rabbi, Reisha Mitzias Rabbanon. The ratio in the middle case is the Rabbanon. the Rabbanon of a Prusa and the Rabbanon of a Prusa. The, prus, the Lav Eirecharo, the Mesut Kohen Gadol. You cannot give the Kohen Gadol a half a, half a loaf of bread or anything less than a full loaf. So therefore, by Shavuos, you have to give him a half a loaf of bread. Okay, now the Gemara is just going to explain. It's interesting, interesting Lashon, yeah. Abayu. Abayu could have said that the ratio is Lekuli Alma and the Seif is a Machlaikas. Why do you say Reisha Rabbanon? Reisha, there's no Machlaikas. Oh, okay. You mean it's Rebbe also? Yeah. And then there's no Metzius. So there's, there's a Reisha and a Sefer. The Reisha is Lukuli Alma. And the last case right. is Machlaikas, Rabbi and Rebbe. It's an interesting right. way to put it. It's... I hear. That. That's a good good point. It's a good point. I guess in the context of the Gemara, we're saying that it could be, right? It could be the Rabbi. I mean, the so Sefer says Rebbe Oymer. That, right. that means that the Metzius is not Rebbe. Right. The question is I on the that. ratio. I hear. Yeah, it's a good order. It's a good order. Okay, very good. So my arba chamish. What does it mean? Four or five? Does he get four? Right. There's twelve loaves of bread by the lechem upon him. Does he get four or does he get five? So my arba chamish. Rabbanon the amri nichnas neitel sheish v'yotz neitel sheish. So according to Rabbanon, let's say that the right every day switched uh, they switched mishmaras. They switched uh, groups. On Shabbos morning. So the outgoing group got six of the chalas and the incoming got six. Uschar, Hagefes, Hagavas, Losa is loy, and there's no extra schar for them closing up the doors, right? Um, that, so we'll see what the, the chalkim on this in a second. Right, so again, according to Rabbanon, who say that they split, the incoming group gets six and the outgoing group gets six, 
and there's no extra schar for the for the outgoing group, right? I'm sorry, to the incoming group. So mishteim esri boy miflug, right? So the really you have to split twelve butter chada. So you drop one, right? Mipalga. So you take one less than half, and that means chamesh shakel. He takes five, right? So according to Rabbanon, that's where you get five from, because um, you. Uh, to take one away from half gives you five, right? So he gets less than five. The Rabbi Yehuda, the Amar Nichnas Naital Sheva, but according to Rabbi Yehuda, says the incoming group gets seven. Shtayim Bishar Hagavas losses because they get two as the reward for closing the doors, because at night they have to make sure that the doors get closed. So because of that, they get extra schar, they get two extra loaves. The Yaitza Naital Chamesh, and the one going out takes five. So then, my uh by miflug. So now you only do because two are extra. So you you're 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 knocking off five. Butzer chada mipalga. If you separate one, take off one from half and the shakel, and you take it, and that's arba. So then the kain gadol is the maximum he's going to take is four. Right. So again, as a machloikis, if the incoming group gets seven or or six, if the incoming group gets seven. So then they're only, I mean, they get two extra. So then both groups are splitting 10, which is five each. So the Kohen Godel gets less than half. So he's going to get four, right? According to, um, according to the Rabbanon, who say that each group, the incoming group gets six and the outgoing group gets six, then splitting it less than half is, is five. Yeah. Five. Are these numbers, are these numbers what the Kohen gets, the Kohen Godel gets or what he's allowed to take? That's what he's allowed to take. I mean, he does. I don't think he has to take it. If he's if the kain gadol so chooses, if the kain gadol so chooses, he gets up to four loaves. I think. Right. So how does that work with the numbers, though? The incoming and outgoing get seven and five, six and six or seven. No, and five. because the, the 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 two are separate for the out for the incoming. That's it. Now they're splitting ten. Two. Two, two are different. for the outgoing because of the losses. Two are for the, um, yeah, no, the, no, no right. the incoming, the incoming get two for the losses. The incoming get two extra. That's knocks off. That that knocks us down from twelve to ten. Now okay. the incoming and the outgoing split ten. So if the coin goes to the sides, he wants it. So. He, according to Rebbe, he doesn't get half. He gets less than half, so we give him four. So, so the incoming ends up getting less than the outgoing in every case. The in Why? The incoming normally gets two extra. Yeah, but where does the kind of goggles come from? Oh, each one. I guess he takes from each one. That's what I'm assuming. Well, there's five, so he ends up taking two halves. What? According to the first Mandama, there's five. According to the first five. Mandama, you take up to five. He so can take, take five. Two and a half, two and a half. That's what he's asking. That's up to him how he's, how he. But he how doesn't he... take halves. That's a bazillion we just said. Yeah, yeah. He can take wherever he wants to take from. I don't know. I don't know how it works. Unless he voluntarily, if he wants to take half, he's entitled to take half. So then the Shtey Alechem, we give him one. That's that's a field or, or, or it's up to him. It's not a chiv. It's up to him. This is all if he wants it. So why are we why are we getting onto bizarium? Let him take a half. What do we care? No, what he's the whole thing's up to him. If he's not, if you say that he has to take less than half, then he's not. Then he's not entitled. He's entitled only to a broken piece. That's a bizarium. If you tell him by the spot, he's, he's yeah. entitled tell to by the corner of the whole carbon. The maximum. If you tell the Kohen Godel the maximum you could take is a half, that's a bazillion. Okay. Right? I thought that's the way I understand it. I could be um, wrong. Right? Okay, let's see. Right? The Rebbe Amar Kula Rebbe. It's all according to Rebbe. Right? Um, that he gets half. The Sabra Lak Rebbe Huda. And Rebbe holds like Rebbe Huda that you only get, that, uh, that you're only splitting 10 because the incoming. Group of Kayanim gets two. Bella, so, okay, so that's why there's five. Vela my arba. And what does it mean four? 
He should, he should always get five. If you, according to Rebbe, you get half. So you give two to the incoming, and then they split five and five, and he should get he should get five, not four. Like Kasha, how do you go Hamas Akiv? One is talking about where there's a mishmar that got that got prevented from leaving, right? I mean, how the lack of mishmar is akev. One is somewhere where there was no mishmar that was stayed over. Meaning, if there was a mishmar, let's say it was yomtiv, right? So then they have to stay there. So then that, but they need You're to staying like them. this year when when yomtiv is Sunday night. I don't know if it means that yomtiv is Sunday. Night. I think it would mean that yomtiv is Sunday night or Sunday. I don't know. I'm just saying Sunday, Sunday night, because otherwise, if it's if Yamta falls on Sunday, then all the Mishmaras come. The Yamta. No. So if it's Sunday night, then technically the, the, the other one comes first because the all the Mishmaras are only due on Sunday night. So the Mishmar that's coming in has Sunday. No, but no, they you, it's gotta be Yamtiv's on Friday or Sunday. Like this, they can't leave. If it, no. Yes, when, they're stuck there. But if Yantif's on Sunday, then they're anyway all there. A Yantif, all the, the, all the Kairim are there. That's not a Mishmar and Misaki. The Mishmar and Misaki no, but is, there's still one Mishmar. When it's Sunday charged. night, they can't go home. There's no time for them to get home. So they stay Why? through Yantif. Why could they go home Sunday day? I don't understand. Is they, they go Sunday and come back Sunday night? What? Everyone's what? coming back for Yantif. It's a Mishmar. One... No, but that's. Um, no, so that's but the yomtiv is not during yomtiv. What happens to all the kohanim? All the kohanim do avoid everybody. It's it's open game, and they all share this. So Sunday, apart. so so if matzah shabbos, if Sunday is yomtiv, one second. If shabbos then falls all the out of there for shabbos, if shabbos falls on a yomtiv, everybody they all split. Then that place. whole week, though, everyone's going to be there. That week is not in a game. Right. If so Shabbos now, if, falls on Sunday, if Yom falls on Sunday, you have the same issue. That whole week, everyone's there. Why? Because everyone has to come for Shabbos. They can't travel but after Shabbos. Shabbos is not the Yom Tif. Shabbos is not Yom Tif. They're coming. Right. So that's not an Ikub. The last Mishmar, the only week, that the end of Yom Tif no. week, only the end of Yom Tif week, only that Mishmar is there. Sunday, everyone's there. They're, they're not Misakiv. That's their job. They're only Misakiv. No, they, they can't have to stay. If they're forced to stay. They can go home, so he has to stay. Of course, yeah. They That's not misakiv. It's a mitzvah. It is misakiv. No, it's misakiv. Misakiv is when it's not a mitzvah to stay. When they could go home technically, but they can't go home because there's no time. No, it's not the way. No, I don't. I don't. No, I don't Rashi think that's says a shot. No, I thought Rashi's saying the opposite. Um, and the other Mishmar comes first on Sunday. The new Mishmar, their job is Sunday and the following week. No, but, the look, of Shabbos. No, but look at the end of the Rashi. That's that's that case, right? That's Misaki. So then look, look, right. Okay, it's confusing the way Rashi's um, saying. Yeah, that's what he's saying. The, the, it's just the misakiv and ena misakiv are, are confusing with shyness. Misakiv means they're forced to because of an extra day. Ena misakiv means they're all shavin. Misakiv, they're not shavin, and, and ena misakiv, they are shavin. We were so close to having it under 40 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me finish the daf and we'll continue. Okay, let me finish it up. Okay, one second. Like, this counts finish. for tomorrow. <laughs> that's true. We finish the daf right. in under 40 minutes. That's true, but that's a good this point. Though, right? Yeah, I really wanted to go more weiter because tomorrow might have to be a quicker... Uh,
Okay, whatever. Look, let's say so. Look, Ashadi can mishmar was akiv. Right, one is somewhere where there's an extra mishmar. Right, and all the lack of mishmar was akiv. So the Gemara says, "Eka mishmar was akiv." If there's a mishmar that's misakiv, mishmar in the body of miflag, right? So then they're going to have to split eight because they have to give two to the mishmar that stays over. The shokel um, arba, and then he takes four. He lack of mishmar was akiv. There's no mishmar that's in the sakiv. Meiser by meiser by the miflag. He needs to split ten. The shokel chomish he gets five. So that's basically what it is. It's five. It's it depends if there's an extra mishmar there that they have to give two extra to. So Gemara says, "Iachi, my my that this is a bomb kasha. Iachi, my Rebbe Omer lo elam chomish." And it says that Rebbe said he always gets five. That's not true. He doesn't always get five. Sometimes he gets four. Right? If there's a mishmar that got that had to stay over, then he's going to get four. Well, he's only going to get four. So Gemara ends off kasha. So Gemara ends off that it is a it's a kasha. Yeah. Okay. We'll we'll stop over here. Now we'll continue our fight over here, Gersh. Um, um, what do you call it? tomorrow night? I'm gonna probably have to do it a little earlier. So what's minute? What time is Meyer over by you in the tent, Darren? Meyer is over at, at eight o'clock. Over at eight. Eight o five. Wow. Okay, so I think we might have to do it like eight eight o five, some eight fifteen, something like that. If that's okay. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. I'll 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 take I'll send it out to the you island. From here, you do it on the way. I'll send it out to the island and see. All, All right. right. Fine. A good enough. If I knew it when I was doing it from here, then I would know the time. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Me and hard enough talk. I'm not used to being here anymore. So, uh, first time he's here. Good night, everybody. Good night. Yeah, have a good night. <laughs> Um, I just, uh, by the way, uh, Mitzi's going with someone. Uh, if you have room, just have a list. I don't know. I, don't I know. know. Um, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Now, one second. Gershon, I'm just trying. He's on there, Gershon? Yeah, I'm here. Um, Let's start with, with Yomta falling on Shabbos. If Yomta falls on Shabbos, then all the Kayanim start. Oh, you're right, shops. you're right, you're right, you're right. I'm sorry. I didn't have you. I didn't have a say. Yeah, you're right. Misakiv means not, they're not forced to, they choose to. That's right. what you're Something saying? like that. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah. that's what yeah. comes out. Right. That, that's right. what it is. Yeah, I was using the word forced instead of choose. Yeah, basically. Yeah. It's Yaakov. I missed the beginning. We were yeah. talking about shaving tomorrow. If I have a chasana tomorrow night, I could shave. Uh, I could shave already. I was telling the oilum that they should bring the <laughs> shaver to the chasana and shave in the car if you have the ability to do that. That's what I was saying. That's my kuntz. Uh, but if I, you I can't, everybody's going to do that, right? So if you can't, then yes, you could shave from from mincha gedolah on. You could shave. Make sure you take a car vac with you. <laughs> yes, you could shave. You could shave from Mincha Gedolah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why is there a mitzvah to shave for someone else's chasna? It's a mitzvah for for uh, for a few reasons. Oh yeah. I mean, it's a simchas chasim and kala. Do I have to shave for them? It's what? covered. It's, 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 it's covered for them. Why it doesn't matter to them? What? It doesn't matter it to, the, to, to the them. Kala, shave. Yeah, clean shaven. Some chasen and kalas, yeah, they want people to look. Some people are not going to go to the chasen as if they don't look. Uh, so then for sure you could shave. Even during your sphere, you're allowed to shave, Ramosha says. If you're not going to go to the chasen. If you're not going to go, yeah. You're not going to go. Right. Now, pictures, I don't think is included. But the bottom line is, the maisa, if there's makilim to shave. So the cover the chasen, that's a good enough reason. La is taiti to shave. You're saying because it's minig avelis anyway. It's not a mitzvah. Yeah, correct. It's not a derisa. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, especially today when we don't feel the availus anyway, or we're not getting into that. Huh? You're saying because today we don't feel availus anyway, or you're not getting into that? No, nothing to do with that. <laughs> Just trying to push some buttons. Yeah. All right, I'm going to try and go shopping. But Shkaya for that. Correction with the with the yeah with the with Sunday yeah, and Friday. yeah all right yeah, I, I have enough. to think about that hour from before yeah 
Uh, All right. Rabbi, uh, feel yeah. good and well, feel good and it should give you a distraction. I saw you were stickled in pain tonight. So I so don't know. Right I'm main. I'm main. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Fine. Yeah, Shikai. Okay, good, good enough. Where are you going shopping?